What's good, guys? We are here with another episode of The Spin. Yes, sir. Today, we have three dope topics to talk about and a very interesting guy talk. Mm-hmm. So first off, we're going to be talking about COVID-19. A lot of people thought it was a hoax, but here comes a second wave. Whoosh, with the bitches. Like a tsunami. <laughs> And Full where, splash. Oh, too much splashing going on, especially <laughs> in Florida. They need to stay off them beaches, but they're going to learn a day. Facts. Second that we got coming up, we are talking about another another tragic loss in our community, even though it's not uh, super recent, but it's still recent, if you know what I mean. Uh, we have Elijah McClain, who was a young man that Autistic was man. he was ultimately killed by his police interaction. We're going to get more deeper into that. Also, we are going to be talking about Jumanji. Dun 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 dun. I'm tired of 2020. Dun 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 dun. July dun. is bringing what? Dun 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 dun. A fucking sandstorm from Africa. Dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, we have uh, this giant uh, dust storm that's coming all the way from the Sahara Desert that is what a time. going to be to passing be through the Caribbeans and all the way touching down to the U.S. And for today's guy talk, we have. Anybody want to say it? No, but I don't know if you've seen the movie Acrimony. We're talking about financing your dream versus financing your relationship. Do you support it? And do you support your significant other if they're trying to finance their dream? Let's talk about it. This is Dante. This is fucking Ray Bands. (laughs) Amar. And you're watching The The Spin. Spin. Coronavirus. She's She's real. real. Shit is getting real. (laughs) Yes, so the coronavirus is back with a second wave. Can somebody get Cardi B on the phone? We don't need her anywhere. No, we need a remix. We need a second wave of that friggin' track because it is back. First of all, I'm I'm tired of all this shit. I'm fucking tired. It's the sequel. 2020 is is the longest Monopoly Jumanji game you ever gonna fucking play in your life. Ain't that a fact. First of all, I ain't gonna front. May had the George Floyd. June is having the first of all, what did June have? Any besides outside of what? I think the second the second um the second thing is like and then July is bringing this. Listen, I'm just waiting for the aliens to come. I think July 4th we about you to see that Independence meme when Day. The alien was like, "Yo, we up next. I'm nervous." <laughs> I'm telling you they really are at this point because it's crazy. This shit is hurting my head. <laughs> I'm chilling, so I yeah, mean, you are gonna be chilling till you floating in the fucking air. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the meme or the photo of like the guy, the dog that's sitting in the office and the whole office is burning down around him? That's 2020. If you yeah, guys I'm, haven't seen it, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, this is it. I'm yeah, fine. Exactly. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I really can't really like this is this is a lot. Oh yeah. I thought July would have been good, but oh my god, he had high hopes. <laughs> it is so, not happening. <laughs> With the fact of the second coronavirus, remember we were planning a trip to Miami for my birthday next month. I don't know what he was thinking. You was a part. You was looking up the Airbnbs. Don't don't point. Definitely was, but let's believe I had my mask ready and I had my freaking hand sanitizer ready. Cause I got, I got, I can't. <laughs> All right, so when we go to Always Miami. You need to pull out condoms like that. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh. I'll be damned if we lived in New York City. And we had the worst case in the entire world back in March. In the entire world, we we beat Italy for me to go to Miami for my birthday to celebrate to get coronavirus. We're staying here. <laughs> and that's a fact. But keep in mind, there's a lot of people who like New York live in California. And California has had the highest second case of coronavirus there, in a day. But it's so funny because I have a cousin who lives out 6, in California. And I spoke to her um, maybe earlier this week or sometime like late last week. And she said they're in early phase two. That's mm-hmm. us. That's us right now. You better believe it. So well, they need to take it back. Take that ass back. <laughs> well, like Kamar just said, yeah, 6,000 plus in a single day. That's and you know what? A lot of y'all be out there. Y'all are partying. Y'all taking this shit for a joke. Y'all going to understand in a couple weeks when it's when your chest ain't, ain't acting right and your heart ain't pumping oh, right. By, by the way, I just I just wanted to brief you on something. Uh-huh. We, we surpassed that two weeks since the protest. I'm just letting you know. <sighs> Yeah. And the thing about the coronavirus yeah. too is like you may have had it and it's gone now. It affects your body long term. Like that damage so your damage your lungs, damage yeah. your but not only I heard that. Somebody, they said it was they was like I think they're going on ninety nine days and they still feeling like aches and pains in their mm-hmm. muscles. Some people would never be the same. True. But you know, Ray was like past two weeks, but you gotta remember there's a lot of people out there that's asymptomatic. 
no. that don't show any symptoms but are really affected by it. Look at D.L. Ugly. He passed out live on stage. Thought it was exhausting. It turned out he had COVID-19. What the fuck he doing right? on stage? He's performing. He had a comedy sent a comedy show. Stand-up comedy show. And he was there performing. And in mid-performance while he was doing his routine, he passed out. Security had to come and pick him up off the stage. And they carried him out, brought him to a hospital. That's a horrible way to go. I'm sorry. If I pass out, just wake me up. I'll walk. You Don't see? carry me nowhere. But that's I, what I'm I, saying. He I was that. he was asymptomatic. He didn't show any signs. Never had no fever, no nothing. So he didn't think it was anything other than exhaustion. Mm-hmm. But come to find out, he was positive for the virus. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Don't think that. Oh, just because it's been two you, weeks, you're you safe. Feel, oh, not even that. If you ain't you, you ain't feel nothing. Always get tested. Right. Definitely always get tested. I got tested. I'm negative. Positive and other things. Um, <laughs> is there something you'd like to tell us? I don't know. Are you itching? Oh <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Burning sensation. Wow. Okay, I guess so, we no, know where like, that's like going. Like I was saying, just like always, always just get tested just to be sure, because like people are afraid to get tested. Oh, I got a story to tell you guys real quick. So people are afraid to get tested because they're afraid of being testing positive. But it's okay to test positive. Mm-hmm. It's not okay not to know and then you passing this shit around like a fucking to other hot people. Potato. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, at my place of employment, I can't really say what's what, but there was an, a situation where, um, because I work in a rec center with, um, you know, the first responders kids and stuff like that, and there was mm-hmm. a there was a situation. I'm sorry, it's so funny. It was a situation where a girl, she actually, um, she was like feverish mm-hmm. one day. She went home. She was only at work for about thirty minutes, and mm-hmm. they sent her home. The next day, she came back, and she was like, same thing. She brought Motrin and all this other stuff. So. The um the the the, the, uh, rec director ran up on her, and she's like, "Are you okay? Are you feeling okay?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever, whatever." She brought the nurse to like take a temperature. So this is what the girl said, and I found it so funny. So she was like, "I don't appreciate you targeting me." And the rec director said, "What do you mean?" She said, "You're targeting me. Like if I have something." She's like, "I'm being COVID aware." Mm -hmm. She said, "You ran up on me." Woke me up out of my sleep, asked me about my wellness, and I and when she, when I heard this, I started laughing because where am I telling you the story? I'm at work. What are you doing <laughs> sleeping at work right. and mad because somebody woke you up because you sleeping at work? So she, I guess she wasn't in. She wasn't in. She didn't come back or whatever. So my thing is, she may have a simple fever, but us working with children and working with other people we are in taking you have lives. to take exactly you, you have to take extra precaution because mm-hmm. i mean to be honest i'll be pissed if i send my kids there thinking they're going to be safe and now they're catching something because now they have the inf- inflammatory uh disease or virus with children now associated mm-hmm. with covid I'll or be, you have I'll be swollen pissed. toes and yeah stuff, i would yeah. be pissed i would be completely pissed as bad as i want to take my kids out the house i wouldn't send them anywhere because they're fine home i agree i agree me too but yeah, I mean, coronavirus is not the only thing that's making a wave across the states. We are looking at this dust storm, this dust cloud, this Dusty dust plume ass. coming from the Sahara Desert that is now Goddamn making its way throughout the Caribbeans. And I'm hearing it's not good. I'm hearing that uh, they're telling uh, people who live in the islands not to go outside, that the dust is going to be very heavy. It's going to be hard to breathe. Make sure you wear a mask. And it's going to be even hotter than it would normally be due to the dust that's going to be flowing through. So I'm praying for all of my Caribbean family members out there to be safe and do whatever precautions you can to stay healthy and stay you know, free from getting these uh, dust particles into your lungs. I'm sorry. I'm there. Somebody's gonna watch this. Like, why is Ray face like that? I'm just so. I'm. I'm just over this crap. <laughs> I'm so done with it. I'm waiting for Aang. You waiting for Aang? Yeah. <laughs> right. For Aang. When we needed him the most, he vanished. <laughs> <laughs> him and freaking what's his name? Umpa. Umpa. Wait. Appa. 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 There we go. I'm so done with this crap. <laughs> I swear. Where's Robin Williams? We need him and freaking David Allen Gray. They're the only ones that can save the day now. <laughs> this don't make no damn sense. Don't why don't Why are we having a no rock, No Rock and Kevin Hart? Who? Did Jonathan Jumanji? The rock and Kevin Hart? It was, it was, I actually watched part two. It was pretty good. Uh, but I'm going mm. to the original because that's when that... Anywho, right. like I said, <laughs> Why? Just why? India India's filled with locusts. They have a swarm of locusts. Yes, they do. Now we have a sandstorm. Now I'm just waiting for Germany to say that people are po- uh, painting... Uh, also remember that our polar Arctic areas are now experiencing degrees up to 100.4, I believe. I'm going to tell you this from now. 
You see that movie 2020? I'm going to show it to my son and I'm going to tell him I survived it and he's going to say how and I'm going to say just watch the movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make no damn sense. None of this makes sense. There's a lot of crazy things going on to the actual earth itself right now and But I feel that It's crazy. Maybe this is just maybe this is just a re this weird as it may sound. Maybe it's just a reaction that the earth is giving because at one point, remember, pollution kind of like died down a lot when at, oh, yeah. the, begin- at the beginning of COVID, because, during the middle, it started picking up. Right. That's because of, remember, people were quarantined. So a lot of the car pollution, the air pollution, people pollution in general was like Fordham abysmal. Road is looking real regular. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking yeah. real regular. Real, real regular. I'm telling you that. I don't I like, like that. Yeah. But I'm just like, this is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Now, now, June, we're going to have a damn sandstorm. Yes, we are. Oh, my God. It's going to be like an Omarion video, except for the sand <laughs> instead of rain. I can't stand it. But, I mean, guys, I stand the please be safe. Especially those of you that have asthma. You know, it's going to be a big problem so for you guys. So, supposed to hit, actually? Uh, in, in the near weeks. Probably next week or so. So, July? We should be receiving so it. So, I'm, I'm going to just be walking. Right on the cusp of July. Can you not? like? This is not first, the July event, though. The this July <laughs> event is going to come soon to a state near you. So stay tuned. Get your popcorn ready because I'm just waiting for Independence Day. That alien invasion is coming. They're going to say a big ass UFO is going to be in the sky. We're going to tap our aliens. If Will Smith is not like doing something about it, it's on site. <laughs> Will Smith. It's on site. I don't care if it's Will Smith or Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. They better figure it the hell out. <laughs> I'm tired of this crap. Listen, at this point, I'm just ready for anything because it's like a lot of you can't make this up. You really can't make this up. Who would have pictured that everything that has happened in this year thus far would have occurred? First of all, you thought 12, 12 years of slave was a sad movie. 12, 12 months of 2020. This shit is a horror movie. This shit is going to get Oscars. This don't make no damn sense. Every month is something different. Mm-hmm. Really Every is. month. I'm gonna pray that uh, that's the end of it, though. That you know, June. No, it's not. That's that. <laughs> He's but, like, it's so damn bad that they, he asked for a damn airbender. <laughs> <laughs> the last airbender. Either way, we we, we <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Excuse oh, my well. curse. <laughs> you know who else is kind of bleeped right now? The police departments that we see in our states of unison, even though we're not that united. Um, <laughs> it's I'm crazy so because so. it's crazy because you know uh, we had the George Floyd incident and we had many other incidents where people have died by the hands of the police and this is just another one another life lost in the midst of all of the stuff that's going on so we have Elijah McLean who was a young boy young adult um, that he you know wasn't doing anything out of the norm wasn't stealing another person whose police interaction caused the death um he was a young man who was going to the store to get you know a family member some iced tea and because i guess he was wearing a ski mask which made him look suspicious ski mask or face mask which one it was like a ski a ski mask well it's a face mask because it covers your whole face but the thing is the kid had anemia so he wore stuff like that to keep himself warm um the mother said but whether it's a face mask or a ski mask it doesn't really matter like why are you troubling someone that hasn't committed a crime there were no crimes called in there were no reason to suspect him other than his skin color and what he was wearing i don't think that's a good enough justification for you to stop anybody a fashion accessory does not warrant my death at all can 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 you just sit up a little bit and just let everybody see your shirt I, I, that's all you had to do was sit up, not stand up. Here. Nobody's trying to see see what you've been working out. Sit down. You sound like so, a hater. I don't care. Fuck. It. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, seriously, it should like we. I feel like it's illegal being black. It's legit being illegal to be black. And now you have the police that are refusing the work because they see that they're getting uh, repercussions for their actions. Now it's really ridiculous. Now that they're getting arrested and they're getting convicted for doing the things that they're not supposed to do, they don't want to go to work there protesting or calling out sick you're you're taking away their their supermanism right their ability to to tell you respect (laughs) my authority as i said before last episode episode before last at the end of the day they have the same blood as us they have the same conscious as us they commit the same crime as they can do as evil things as we can do they are human just like us 
They should not be held yep. to a higher standard. They should hold the same standard see, as us. When they get that badge, and we pay them. they think that they're above everybody else and they can do whatever they want without any you know, type of recourse or reprimand. But times are changing. I really do feel like those officers that are, you know, avoiding work and calling out and all of that stuff, they should be fired. Let's rehire some new officers with some new guidelines. Let's change the rules. Matter of fact, dismantle the whole damn police system and rebuild something new where you have new guidelines, new precautions, new requirements where these people cannot even be hired based on what they've done already. You know what I mean? And that's not to detract. Well, you can say what you're going to say, but that's not to detract from the main topic, which is Elijah McLean. I'm going to jump back into that after Kamar says what he has to say. I was going to say, like, they make, they, they make us feel like, oh, we need to respect them because they put on a uniform and a badge. It's like, at the end of the day, you, made, you chose to do that. So, I mean, you chose to be where you are right there. So stop holding like, oh, you're some god. Like, you're just me and I. Yeah, it's like, like you the chose- job chose you. You chose the job. Exactly. Right. And nobody put a gun to their head saying, yo, go and be a cop or go and risk your life for other people. If you know that the job is too stressful for you, or if you're too scared, or if you're walking around with a trigger finger over every little thing, don't don't do work the job in that job. You have other options available to you. But back on Elijah and why it's so sad is again he went to the store to get a family member some iced tea, and he was stopped by police. You, say, you saying that just sounds like Trayvon Martin, I'm doesn't sorry. it? Doesn't <laughs> I'm it? I'm sorry. And outside of the hoodie is the, is the mask. That's the reason I'm not really too vocal on this topic because it sounds mm-hmm. like something that we've heard before. But go ahead. And all of these do, unfortunately. But he was stopped by police, and he was. If you see the videos on this kid, this kid is very polite. He was not disrespectful. He just didn't understand what was going on. He didn't understand why he was being stopped. And they got aggressive with him. For me, I don't understand why. Because nobody called a reporter a crime. And this kid is not suspected of doing a crime. But yet they decided they were going to put him in an illegal chokehold. And they were going to tranquilize him. Yes, they shot him with a tranquilizer. Injected him with now, a tranquilizer. I, I don't I don't know if y'all like watch TV the way I watch TV. A tranquilizer is usually to, you know put down sedate an animal an animal right from a from a far distance you have a young man maybe 140 <clears throat> pounds if that and a police officer has him in a chokehold already and there's multiple cops i was about to say in the medical field we only use tranquilizers to sedate people when they heavily going crazy and that's under doctor orders under specific circumstances meaning you can't just go ahead and tranquilize yeah, somebody because you never like know they, you don't know the health conditions you know what could affect them but I don't exactly. know none of that like so you, you, tranqu- you tranquilized so him so I feel like that's kind of that's, that, I'm pretty sure that was illegal I'm not too sure yeah. but I feel like that was illegal to tranquilize him like that well based on what happened they the officers were cleared of any wrongdoing stating that they followed what the law what would the world be like if they were if, right <laughs> hold on, on I, I, I have a story I forgot what state um, on the states down south is one time a sheriff lied about a warrant to a judge to serve no knock warrant mm-hmm the person that helps the person died they found out the sheriff lied about the warrant went to court federal judge got dismissed but Kamar in the world that we live in you know come on now like, but I need to stop. said that there is a change coming forth and with stop. this Don't. change we are seeing new things happening yeah, in like our law sandstorms. well damn right that is one thing but that's <laughs> not the change I'm talking about because it looks like this case is going to be reopened now that it has gotten so much media attention so we might end up seeing these guys actually get charged and you know convicted and that's the biggest thing a lot of officers get charged but we don't see the convictions we yeah. want to see them actually go to jail and serve the time that they they are supposed to serve but that's not the end of this story he did not just you know get tranquilized and that was it he got tranquilized and that messed with him this guy had health issues it's a kid he's skinny kid he's not no brolic monster right and on the way to the hospital after emt after the emt came he had two heart attacks on the way there on the way there he was pronounced brain dead a few days later Imagine a family not having to take their young son, brother, cousin, nephew off of life support when he did nothing wrong just because the police, the people who are supposed to protect and serve, harassed him and tranquilized him and caused him to go through everything that he's going through the fact in a matter of days. The fact you keep saying they tranquilize him, it's like it, ke- it keeps playing in my head like I see the poacher looking at like you know the hunter looking at a deer or like an elephant or something like that and you just shoot it from a distance 
And I'm just like, why would you tranquilize him? And he's already, first of all, you already put him in a chokehold. He's down on the floor. Right. Why are you tra- Mind what? you, he was down on the floor him. crying and throwing up, vomiting repeatedly while you're doing all of this. And they just probably like, Yo, yeah. After everything is done, they they go home and go sleep like nothing, nothing's wrong. They, they, it's just another day. Kill another nigga, right? Yeah, with the hard R. With the hard R. <laughs> like I said, they don't respect our lives. That's why Black Lives Matter because they clearly do not respect our lives. Like the black nigga died dead. Oh well, white person. Oh shit, we can't do this. We can't do that. I just I we just can't want, do that. I just want you guys to know, like, if an officer gets caught, like you know, in uniform talking about and like blue lives matter, something like that they do get in trouble for that if you didn't know it may not be like oh you're fired but they it's been it's been said from an inside source that they do get in trouble for even saying anything like that have any any t-shirt saying blue lives not anything like that they, there will be consequences for that but do understand that a lot of them don't care i i yeah. understand yeah. i understand yeah. that i understand that but it's been said mm-hmm. regardless if like you know if it's you know happening and not, it's been stated so you know some form of I don't, I don't I don't see the 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 reprimand whether it's wrong or right I feel like it gets thrown out just like all of the cases that we bring forth all the complaints and everything I, 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 like how many write ups is it gonna really stop another officer from being on the streets you yeah, know what days I mean taken away you get days taken away you can't do anything no well, you would think that matters they're still getting paid <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of them don't mind sitting at their desk getting money. Or being at home, getting money. Desk work sucks, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're getting paid, and as you've seen, if you haven't seen that already, but I believe we have all seen the salaries that some of these New York City cops are getting that are oh, yeah, six figure salaries, right now, they, six figure overtime. pensions. Oh yeah, protests? overtime. Crazy. Man- First of all, mandatory mandatory twelve hour shifts, one day off. Mm-hmm. They're caking, completely caking. Mm-hmm. With their six billion dollar budget, it's ridiculous. Why? Why not reward the people that's doing the damage? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like in school. You ever thought about when you was in school and the bad kid always got the attention and got the candy stuff like that, and you were being good and do what you're supposed to do, you get no acknowledgement? It's just like uh, I don't know about y'all, but I, I got a lot of acknowledgement. Kiss uh, ass. Uh, I was that good teach. I was that good kid. <laughs> All right, but um, we are here. Unfortunately, we're not doing entrepreneurs this week. We will do it next week because this week we want to announce the winner. Of the amazing Sony 4K action camera. 4K. And just so you guys know that it's legit, we are going to do it live right here, right now. And we are going to see who's going to win out of all of our contestants. And I think we had over about like what? 60 contestants. We had a lot of people that came yeah. in and voted. Well, not voted, but bought a raffle ticket. And it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's see how this is going to play out. It was that famous one. All right. Are you ready? And we're going to get started in three, two, one. Stop. And the lucky winner. I can't see. Wow. Hmm. Nah. As you can see, live. Scar is our winner. Confetti. So Scar, you are the new owner of the Samsung, I mean the Sony 4K action camera. 4K. Hope you make great use with it. I know he is. <laughs> I know he is. That's why I said wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, stay tuned for the next the next raffle that we will be doing. Um you're going to see what that prize is going to be on the next episode of The Spin. Who knows? We might raffle Kamar for a date. We just might. We just might. Some lucky lady. He's single. Out there. He's single. We're in the early phase too. He came with the fresh cut. I mean, you know, and the facial too. You know, the facial. Whoa, facial. Sorry, my mind's in the wrong place. Definitely. Yeah. In the wrong place. <laughs> Congratulations to Scar once again. Man, now it's time for guy talk. The most controversial time of the show. What he yes. says. And today we are talking about financing. Your dream versus financing your relationship. Do you support it? And also, do you support your lover, your significant other? Oh, okay. Teamwork make the dream work. But money make these hosts work. It definitely Ow. does. Now the thing is, 
All right, let me break it down for some of you who might not understand what the uh, whole topic is. It's basically stating you, you have your dream, you are chasing your dream, but you also have a relationship and somebody you love. Are you going to put your financial effort towards pushing your dream and eventually accomplishing that goal that you set forward and sacrifice some of the, the finer things in life when it comes to your relationship? Or are you going to put your dream on pause and make sure that your significant other is treated well with what you have currently. So, um, what this, do you feel that you would do? Well, I just want to let them know so we know we're getting this from this. Actually, came off the uh, I don't know what year, maybe about 2017, 2018 movie, Tyler Perry's Acrimony with Taraji P. Henson. Do you really so, know that? Do they really gotta know that, bro? Of, of course. Damn. So they can understand where I'm coming from with what I'm about to say. Damn. Shut down. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. So I mean, to me personally, I mean, uh, if I me if I have a dream, I'm gonna accomplish it regardless if I'm with somebody or not. That's just the kind of person that I am. So I mean, if it takes money and I want to accomplish it, yeah. If I need to pull back just a little bit so I can do something, I mean, my wife. I use that term, wife. Okay, fiance, wife. That means that we are. What about somebody you're dating? sorry what about your girlfriend I'm sorry so you have to be married yeah because that at least you know that's you put in those years and effort into that I know he's gonna say something I can't wait <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I already see it he's like he's like nigga <laughs> but I mean I mean girlfriend depending on what's her mindset as well because it's all about somebody's mindset I feel mm-hmm. you know because you you could you could date somebody and their mindset might not be on the same level as yours or be with yours. Right. But I mean, if her mindset is up there and she's willing to help you and you guys are willing to help each other, like you said, teamwork with me, make the dream work, mm-hmm. then it can actually happen. But if your mindset is two different things, it's not, it's gonna, it may happen, but it just may take longer. True. But now the thing is, you said it might take longer. How long is too long? Ooh, that's a good one. How long is too long? Does that depend on the what person? Is the dream? You don't know how long it's going to take you to, until you accomplish it. Which is very true. But I guess some people have a threshold to how long they can wait for your dream to come. And a lot of people get very skeptical very skeptical about if your dream is even going to come at all. So it's like... And, and, that's, and that's why I said the whole mindset thing. If your mm-hmm. mind is not there, if you don't believe in me and I believe in you, regardless, regardless, let's just say like, okay, you want to... I don't know. You want to make paper f- from scratch or whatever right. like that. And you're dealing with a girl and she's like, you could just buy it from the store, but you're like, it's cheap. I'll make more money doing it this way. I could put, you You know, you put in, you know, input and effort into it. Right. If she sees that it's not working, then it's okay for you to leave. But this is something that I want to do. This is my dream. This is what I want to accomplish, regardless how dumb somebody else may feel you, about it. Right. Exactly. It's what you want to do and what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. And that's why I said the whole thing with a wife, because when you get married to somebody, you're accepting everything with them. That is not always true. Well, ma- some people get married thinking that the ring bus? is going to change. Well, that's the behavior. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm I'm just talking about the the, the marriages that I know. Because mm-hmm. you know, some people be like, oh, well, you know, he's playing around, but now that we're serious, oh, he gotta he gotta like own now up. I'm he just gonna play up. more serious. <laughs> 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 that's all. I'm, just, I'm gonna play more serious now. And then we have the divorce. Hi, Taraji. <laughs> Kamar, what are your views? <clears throat> oh, damn, I can't wait for this. <laughs> this this is a topic, boy. I mean, like, you know, like City Girl said, yo, if a girl went that breaking back, bro, get that breaking back, son. Yeah. So, can't eat for a month, all right? Just take a whole month out eating and get that breaking bag. Yeah, cup noodle soup is um, 43 yeah. cents. So, you would demands, rather. Drop 50 bands in that bag, yo. You would rather make sure that your relationship is good versus chasing your dream, if I'm not mistaking you. Yeah. Well, he's going to be living out of his car. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to tell you like this. My dreams, my business, my aspirations come first. My relationship will come second. Why? Because I'm making sure that I'm good so that we're good. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to support me, then guess what? It's going to be even better because... I'm going to feel that love. I'm going to feel that appreciation and it's going to make me only want to do more. All right. But if you're the type of person that's looking for 
big this, big that. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna find another big black nigga over there to go be with because it ain't gonna be me. Come I'm on, just saying. We're here. Listen, <laughs> I will say this though because I spend a lot towards my business. Yeah. Definitely a lot towards my Let business. Let me explain something to you. This man could have been a million years ago. I was very close to it. He was. He, I, and I'm not even trying to like pump you, but like, bro, can I get a yeah. dollar? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, I'm thirsty. Like, Listen. Damn, bro. Listen, this is all, as far as I see it, a work in progress. Like, for example, I just got a red camera. I could have. Not blue, but red. Oh. Well, imagine if they did make a blue camera. For blue movies, yeah. You see, uh, our Jamaican watchers know what he's talking about, <laughs> but um, everybody that knows a red camera, red camera, it's very expensive. It's pretty much with my dream camera, and it cost me about eighteen thousand dollars. So, I bought that because it's gonna build up my business even more. And once you, those of you who don't know are not familiar, dreams because you, you, you know the quality that you want, yeah. But I'm, I want to, I want people I to understand this 18k, but it's you know what? like it's not my problem. Put it this way. If you have a red camera, a red camera is like, you know how Jamaicans see a BMW? Mm-hmm. That's how it is inside the film industry. If people know that you have a red camera, you will get higher paying shoots. For example, if I have a regular camera like a Canon or a Sony, they might pay me like $500,000 for a shoot. Mm-hmm. With a red camera, 10000 15000 for a shoot. You get more corporate, you get bigger shit. Can, can, can I hold the bag just to get like two grand? Like, it's my job, bro. B- back off. <laughs> he said that's why it's taken. But listen, Watch I'm also the type of guy who who loves very hard, and I do tend to when I'm in, when I'm in a relationship, I procrastinate on my business stuff because I really want to make sure that my relationship is solid. When he loves you, he cares for you. Yeah, a little too much sometimes. But the thing is, yeah. for me, uh, I never needed support. And sustaining anything so even if my girl is the one that's ch- chasing her dream i'm gonna support her i'm gonna make sure everything is yeah. good just when i chase my shit don't bother me because right. i let you do you right period and i got you good <laughs> that's it period solid so, so I, I i what you're saying is absolutely it's exactly how i feel i mean Clearly, front is running Kamar. Oh, yeah, big front. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so, my, nah, my, I just, I'm just believe. I'm just believing. Like, my goal and dream is to make you happy. So, why not include make you happy? And how would you do that in your car? Broke. You could do like dinner dates in the back seat. That's that's cute. That is when that's the girl cute. leaves. It that, is game that over. That is so cute because once once you drop her home, another nigga's picking her up. You ride. damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. So listen. My, Go ahead. So what what I was I was gonna pick it back off you were saying is like once you once you have a dream, it's kind of hard. Like let's just say if you you have your dream, right? You have auto, if you really want something, you have automatic tunnel vision. Nothing is you're not seeing anything. If you catch a girl in a glimpse, like, oh she's cute, whatever, I got something to do. You know what I'm saying? Now if a girl happens to come into that and you let her know what it is, by all means, I mean if you're not up to being down through some struggle with me, so I can be up. And we can do something great, and I could be great to you. If you're not down for that, just for holding off, then I'm not gonna be upset at you. Basically, if you ain't down to get down, go around. If he wasn't with me shooting in the gym, huh? Yeah, man. And the thing is, it's it's like it's sad when you see these girls or these guys that Wait, they're in these here, relationships. Here, here, here's even a better question. Let's just say if you accomplish your dreams. And Shorty comes back. What well, you that's what I was just about to see. Well, I'm sorry, because we, we here. We, we here. I just need to we finish up my here. sentence. So I was, I was saying, it's sad when you see these guys or these girls. They with these, uh, you know, their lovers, and they leave right before that person accomplishes that success or that goal or that dream. And now it's like, damn, I don't miss out. Now, I me of a story. Um, I was talking to this girl one time. Her friend used to talk to a boogie back in high school. And she basically curved him, like dubbed his shit OD. He blows up. She linked back up with him. He's like, "Yeah, I come through. Yeah, I come chill with you." Nigga, blocked curved. and delete her like curved, curved OD, <laughs> curved, curved. So this goes to show. It's like, all right, you front of me before chase my dream. Now I actually made nine come with me. Like, now you good. And Stay the thing is, it. you never know when you're about to strike gold when it comes to chasing your dream. It could be tomorrow, and you have had three, four, like, five years of like bad luck, no success, and then tomorrow. 
that like, door opens. Like that mean they have with the guy was digging, and then you seen him, he was digging, using like, mm -hmm. the dirt pick, and then he was this close to getting the diamonds, and, and the other guy just up. kept going. Yep. Exactly. You just keep going. Keep going until you accomplish your dreams. Never no matter know. how long it's going to take. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be, you know, all these other things. Things are going to slow you down and stuff like that. But it's kind of like, yo, that's life. That's that's what's going to... Nobody just woke up and was like, hey, I'm a superstar. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, Leonardo DiCaprio went to Cali and he only had $14 in, um, $14 in his pocket. Right. And Not like, even that. Look at uh, Robert Downey Jr., who was pretty much living a life of drugs and uh, yeah. getting arrested numerous, all of the way to age 34. And then he yeah. turned his life around. Now he's a freaking so millionaire. I, what, what we're trying to say is that, um, well, what I'm trying to say, I don't know what they're trying to say is, if you have a dream, go for it. If love comes in the way, discuss that with your significant other and just pretty much like, are you down for the ride? If they're not down for the ride, don't even be mad no matter how much you like them. At the end of the day, good is going to come for you regardless. That's yep, it. Yep. If you're a good, clean heart person, you doing what you need to do for whatever dream you want to accomplish, it's going to come. It may take time. Everything takes time. Like Alkaline said, everything takes look of time, but it will come. If somebody's not down for the ride, then it is what it is. If they want to pop up after you glow up, pull a Kamar, fuck them and leave them. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and call it a day. Yep. And you know, at the end of the day, you, one thing you should support your significant other Always. in what they're doing even if you don't like it even if you don't care about it as long as it's not something illegal as long as you see that it could as end long up you, being as long something as you're not scamming from your aunt and buying people stuff for their birthday right as long as it's not nothing crazy like that or detrimental show support it takes nothing to support somebody especially when it's somebody that you're dealing with right Facts. and then number two understand that if that person's really going hard for their dream if they're really grinding for their dream you're gonna have to take a l on certain things you have to cut back on certain things yeah. you're not gonna get the chanel bag you might have to deal with the michael kors for now you know what i'm saying that's and that eventually names. i'm sorry michael I mean, kors is not that big it's not that big but it's still money why they can't get the the, the bag off the man or afford him on the corner because it's probably bootleg but it's a bag it holds what it needs to hold well they need at least have it be the correct a brand and official bag it don't need gonna, to be I'm a name buy, i'm not gonna buy a michael but, kors bag and you got food stamps girl but buy. i'm not gonna buy a gucci bag on freaking fordham road either of well, why not because you buy it from Chinatown. Listen, it's, more, it's, it's one fun. thing. It, this is the thing. It's one thing of having a bag that is what it is. Are we really having a conversation about women's? Yes, bags? we are. Because not? I definitely, I, <laughs> I definitely about to say, I definitely bought a few bags out there. But okay. Oh damn. Wait, Chinatown. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, so right, some right, girls right. out there walking around with a fugazi bag right now. That's right, crazy. Right. You know, and she left me, bro. She left you? Well, she, she left got me. what she deserved. She left me, bro. That, that, exactly. Took the bag and ran, bro. Mm. The bag and ran. You should have put a hole in the bottom and take the money. <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty sure the straps probably <laughs> fell off that bitch by now, so it's all good. But you you, you don't want your girl to go out in public and be made fun of because you know these girls scrutinize these bags like crazy. So you don't want nobody to make fun of her. Well, I'm just saying if you're going to buy get something, get her something genuine. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I, I, I get what you're saying. But she ain't getting no money for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how cheap that shit is. <laughs> no, but again, you know, it's, it's, it's really down to, like Ray was saying, your mindset. And if you're the type of girl that needs somebody to constantly buy you stuff, go get yourself a sugar daddy because a real hardworking man is not going to be doing all that. .com, and for the fellas, we have KrugerCubs.com And please be this? advised Because I And please be advised Somewhere down the line You're gonna have to Get some sugar You're gonna have to Get some sugar <laughs> Remember that <laughs> Eventually you're gonna Have to get some sugar We're at In the upper room <laughs> Sad case <laughs> But guys um, That was it For the spin Yes uh, We had a Numerous great conversations Today This and was actually An uplifting episode yeah, I've with been, all the depressing stuff that we've been dealing yeah, with lately. Yeah, it's hard. And like, and I, all I'm saying is, please, please, if it's your turn in Jumanji, please, just roll a double <laughs> six and end the game. <laughs> yeah, we've had enough. We quit. This shit is worse than Ludi. We surrender. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this is Dante. This is Ray Bands, man. Kamar. And you are watching The, the Spin. Spin.